Hello, Solar Eclipse Timer user. In your hand, you are holding the best and most user-friendly app in the world for helping you observe a solar eclipse. It is the original Eclipse Talking Timer, and it allows me to be your personal guide during the eclipse. Learn more about eclipses and my app by visiting my YouTube channel and my website. The links are on the About screen. Three important points. First, this app is a timing tool, not a mapping tool. For you to see totality, you must know where the umbral path is. Second, you must protect your eyes anytime the sun is bright, which is all times except during full totality. Third, you should dedicate a device for timing the eclipse and do not use that timing device for taking pictures. Let's do a quick overview of the features of my app, starting with the home screen buttons. The first thing to do is a device sound check by tapping this button. The unique thing about my app is that I talk you through the eclipse, therefore the audio in your device must be on. Do test 1 and 2 to hear both types of test files play. If you do not hear them, check all of the audio settings in your device and make changes until these two files play. Under test 3, tap the button and follow the instructions to do a test notification. You must allow notifications when asked. The test notification must successfully work in your device. If it does not, check all notification settings for your device system and for the Solar Eclipse Timer app. Make sure all notifications are allowed. The Select an Eclipse to Time button brings you to a screen with a list of Eclipse data sets. Past eclipses are activated in the app. Future eclipses become activated when they are purchased through the in-app buying process. From your list of active eclipses, tap the eclipse you want to time and the data for that eclipse is loaded into the app. After selecting an eclipse, you must geolocate within the global limits of the eclipse to calculate your contact times. You can either tap the location icon in the upper banner or use the GPS data button. If you are positioned in the path of the total eclipse, you get four contact times. For a partial eclipse, you get two contact times. No times are calculated if you are outside the global limits of the eclipse. You can assess observing positions for an eclipse by manually entering valid latitude and longitude values to calculate contact times. The Eclipse Video Practice Session is a very important training feature that is unique to my app. This plays a real total eclipse site video that is synchronized to the timing functions of the app. So while hearing the excitement of a crowd and an eclipse, the app plays the actual announcements as they will play on Eclipse Day. The practice session always resyncs to your device clock, so you can start it over and over. I recommend that you set up all your gear and practice your exact observation and photography plan just like you will do on Eclipse Day. You can quit a session by using the stop button in the top banner. The Here All Eclipse announcement button starts another unique training feature. It loads a sample eclipse from first to fourth contact that is compressed to run over one hour and ten minutes so you can hear all of the announcements for an eclipse. It allows you to practice unlocking your device and seeing how the app reopens and presents you with information about the next eclipse event. Prior to using this feature, go to your device settings and set the lock time to one minute or less. Then just lay your device down and watch the app do its magic, guiding you through the entire eclipse with announcements and visual cues. Use the stop button in the top banner if you are not going to finish a session to clear all pending notifications. The Go to the GPS Data Screen button takes you to the screen where you work with your location and contact times. Here you can automatically geolocate, check your position, or adjust your coordinates manually. You can assess observing positions in advance by manually entering coordinates. This screen shows you the contact times in universal time for observing a total eclipse or a partial eclipse. It also shows you the percentage of sun coverage. From this screen you load four contact times to time a total eclipse or select the partial eclipse timing mode. The Partial Phase Image Times button is a feature that is truly unique to my app and is a revolutionary feature for Eclipse photographers. Once the app has calculated four contact times for a total eclipse, tap this button and you are brought to the Partial Phase Image Sequence Calculator screen, which has four contact times and 20 other clock times. 
Write these times down on a worksheet that you can download from the Solar Eclipse Timer website. During the eclipse, take a partial phase image at the 10 clock times between C1 and C2 and the 10 clock times between C3 and C4. You will end up with a perfect sequence of evenly spaced partial phase images before and after totality. Let's go over how you will set up the app on Eclipse Day for a total solar eclipse. Go to your pre-planned observing position that you know is in the path. Confirm that the correct eclipse is displayed on the main timer screen. Then do two things. First, geolocate. Second, load the four contact times into the timer. That's it. The app is armed and I will talk you through the eclipse. There are a few ways to geolocate. On the home screen, tap the Go to the GPS data screen button. On the main timer screen, tap the location icon in the top banner or the small GPS data button. All methods take you to the GPS data screen. The button labeled Tap to get my GPS location will continually update your location and recalculate your contact times. This is important if you are changing observing locations on eclipse day. The partial phase image sequence times are also automatically recalculated. If you are planning to observe the eclipse as a partial solar eclipse, never getting to totality, you must always use solar glasses and solar filters. You geolocate the same way, but the app can only calculate two contact times and mid-eclipse. You choose the partial phase timing mode in the app. It will also show percentage of sun coverage at your position. In this mode, you will hear countdowns for first contact, max eclipse, and fourth contact. You will also hear partial phase phenomena announcements that are appropriate for the depth of your partial eclipse. On the main timer screen, the Save Eclipse button takes you to a screen where you can create a file name and save information about your eclipse observing position to keep a record of it. The fields for coordinates, contact times, totality duration, and time label are automatically filled and other information can be saved. This file is added to a list that is opened by tapping the Eclipse data icon on the bottom banner. Previously saved files can have the data reloaded into the timers. This is useful if you are practicing in advance for an eclipse and have multiple potential observing sites. On the main timer screen, each contact time has an adjust button. This allows you to alter the calculated times if you have to make adjustments for lunar limb variations. The settings icon on the bottom banner takes you to a screen where you can change the time label displayed on the main timer screen. The default is local time, but if you plan to time the eclipse in universal time, change the displayed label. This is a label only. It has nothing to do with changing the time zone or the system time in your device. You can also toggle on or off the practice video soundtrack in case you want to practice the video with only the app announcements playing. The Path of Totality button takes you to a screen with a basic overview of where you are trying to position yourself for a total eclipse. It also has hyperlinks to websites that have links to interactive maps for upcoming eclipses. The Help icon on the bottom banner takes you to an extensive help file. Be sure to read the helpful tips about Eclipse Day setup. Also study the partial phase phenomena so you know what to observe for when the app makes the announcements. The About screen has information about the app including hyperlinks to my website, my YouTube channel, and email address. Please use the resources in the app help file, my website, and YouTube channel before resorting to email questions.